be right back, darling. This is the story of a baby beluga. Here you can see that she was born just a few days ago, and her mother has gone to fetch her food. Ha! <laughs> you shall be my slave, moi! That's right, she was kidnapped if that wasn't clear enough for you. The evil sea lion kept her as a slave, treating her so horribly that she went nuts though. Um, I, um, yeah, I mean, I mean, insane. Yeah, she went insane. Slave, fetch me the ring. Goodbye, whatever. Here. I, I just wanted to ask. No need, darling. The answer is yes. <laughs> yeah, they just got engaged. The baby beluga was so enraged by the sea lion's happiness that she went completely over the top. I, I mean, she showed further signs of um, mental instability. Um, yeah. So, in her craziness, she basically killed them. Okay, enough of that, enough of that, enough of that, please. Oh, oh god. Uh, I think I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> well, um, um, anyway. Um, we don't need to yeah. do that. Anyway, um, one month later, over two million fish and other ocean dwelling animals were found dead all across the northern Pacific Ocean. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> the Alaskan to Californian coastlines, but apparently it just wasn't enough for the baby beluga who wanted to kill everyone! Stop laughing. It's not funny anymore. They don't want to hear you laughing. Fine. Okay, fine. One more time. One more time. Yeah, that... No, that wasn't very good. Try it again. Yeah, that's it. That's the ticket. Hello. I'm the director of this film. I just wanted to let you all know that I did not approve of that last scene. I feel that our viewers should be fully immersed in the film without any ridiculous interruptions. The breaking of the fourth wall was not intentional, but unfortunately, there is not much we can do about it. Forgive us. Oh, and why, yes, those are monkeys, thank you for asking. Yep. Anyway, I hope that you enjoy the rest of this film and that we do not encounter any other difficulties. Thank you. Way, baby Beluga met up with her mother again. <gasps> My baby! I missed you so much. Aww. Me too. <laughs> huh? I'm evil now, mother. Join me. Oh, I'm more of a white collar criminal, darling. But I could do the paperwork for you. Would you like that? Fine. As long as you make a tuna fish sandwich. Once every once in a while, and maybe get an evil laugh like mine. <laughs> See, like that. Done. And in return, you won't kill you, dear old mom? Done. Let's do this. <laughs> uh, you need to work on that. Brother became an unstoppable team, and two months later, several humans were found dead on the coast of California and Alaska. Example from Huntington Beach was taken in. 2011. It was so tragic. Three young girls all killed. One was swiped at at the neck. The other, her heart was torn out. And the last, her intestines were taken out. They were used as jump ropes. <laughs> oh my god, what is that? Is that the ring? The ring that started it all? Many survivors recall what looked like a baby beluga riding the seemingly mythical sock nest monster, killing innocent people. Together, baby beluga, her mother, and the sock nest monster were legalized as of July 26, 2011, and unstoppable killing machine. They murdered innocent humans and fish and other fishy-like things for an entire year. And today is the 21st of December, 2012. The pile of bodies, both of water and land creatures, has grown. The, the human population itself has gone down from over 7 billion to only 2. A male and a female. I am the female, and 
I know what you're thinking. This is going to turn out to be one of those Adam and Eve type stories, but no, it's not. You know why? Because the other survivor is gay. So yeah, the human race is pretty much screwed. But we're still going to try and fight the forces of evil. I'm here in one of the remaining rooms of the Pentagon. We're in the basement, as you can see, kind of, it's kind of dark. But anyway, we have one of the remaining bombs. Beluga hasn't destroyed this one because it's disguised as a squash. Anyway, yeah, why can't you just stop being gay? Anyway, um, we're going to destroy the Beluga with this. She has a land base in an aquarium nearby here and we'll do whatever it takes to save the human race, even if the other survivor will stop being gay. Anyway, so yeah, we're about to go. We may be risking our lives, but oh my god, she's right behind me, isn't she? <laughs> I win! The human race is no more! <laughs> Yeah, you need to work on that a bit more, you know. Okay. Yeah. Baby.